objectives this week are to identify val teams in words and to correctly use val teams in words. The val teams we're going to be working on are AI, AY, EE, EA, and EY. To start off, let's discuss what val teams are. Val teams are vowels that are joined with another letter and they work together to make a sound. Sometimes both letters can be vowels, but not always. So in the following slides, we are going to be introduced to the new sounds we're working on and a word that follows the pattern. I want you to practice by saying the letter word sound after me. The first sound we're going to be working on is A-Y. A-Y, play, A. As you look at the word play, and it's written down, you see that the end has the A-Y sound. We can mark this by circling the A-Y and marking it as a double vowel with a D. Our next sound is A-I. A-I, bait, A. When we write the word bait, we notice that the A-I is in the middle of this word. I can circle the A-I and mark this as well as being a double vowel with the D. I'm going to write the two words we just discussed at the top of our page, play and bait. When you look at the sounds that we discussed, we have A in play and A in bait. I want you to think about what these two sounds have in common. I want you to think about what makes them different. And how are we going to know when to use them? The first question is pretty easy because as we look at it, play and bait both have the long A sound, which we've become familiar with in words that have A consonant E, as well as words that have the open syllable A. It's that same long A sound with AY and AI. What makes them different is also important because one of them has a Y and the other one has an I. How will we know when to use them? That's what we're going to discuss in the next part. Let's take some time to practice building some words that have these sounds in them. The first one we're going to talk about is going to be the word that was in the last section, bait. If I look at the word bait, AI is right in the middle of the B and the T. I can also write some more words like brain, faint, Complain, which would be a multisyllabic word. I could also write a word like aim for the target, or a word like dainty. As I circle the AI in these words, I want you to pay attention to their location compared to the words we use next. In our AY words, we're going to look at a few words that have AY, like ray. Spray, dismay, stray, and portray. I want you to take a minute just to see what you notice about the difference between the AI location and the AY location. What I hope you notice is that in AI, words with AI, the AI falls either at the beginning, like in a word like aim, or within a word or syllable. For instance, bait, faint, brain, complain, dainty. AY is a sound that comes at the end of a syllable or word. Ray, spray dismay, stray, portray. The next sound we're going to discuss is EE. EE, -E, -E, Jeep, E. When I look at a word like Jeep, I can mark the word by circling the EE -E, and again marking that it's the double vowel sound that makes the long E. Next, we will look at E-A. E-A, eat, E. In a word like eat, we can circle the E-A 
and again mark that as a double vowel. I want you to notice that just like in the last one, we again have a long E sound, E. Finally, let's take a look at EY. EY, valley, E. In a word like valley, the EY serves as a double vowel, so I can circle that EY, and again, we're looking at a combination that makes the long E sound. So we're going to think about those words again. We had Jeep, Eat, and Valley. Let's think about what all those sounds have in common. And I talked about it a little bit and wrote it in a gold color. Remember that all of them have in common that they have that long E sound. What makes them different? Again, they're different combinations to go with that long E sound. We have E, 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 A, E, Y. So it's a different letter that goes with the E in order to make the long E sound. Again, we're going to talk next about how will we know when to use them. Let's take some time to look together at the following combinations and figure out what we can notice about these words. We're going to be looking at E, 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 A, and E, Y. Some words we can use are words like feed, weep, redeem, disagree, sheet. Words that work for EA would be words like speak, Squeak, cheap, feast, creek. In this case, it would be like the stairs creak when I walk on them. To have a creek like the water, it actually is EE. -E. EY, we have words like key, jersey, chimney, and kidney. As we look at these words, I want you to determine what you notice to be more difficult with these combinations than the last ones. EY is the easiest of the ones that we are doing this time because EY is generally always at the end of a word or syllable. EA and EE are a little bit more challenging because they can all either go at the beginning within the word and in some cases, like with agree and disagree, can go at the end of the word. In order to help us know what to do and which one to use, we're going to have to use a spelling option procedure to see what looks and sounds the best. Let's take some time to practice marking some of these vowel teams. What I'm going to ask you to do is on your own page, I want you to write it down as I write down mine. The first word is the word brain. I want you to start by circling the AI in the word brain. You're then going to scoop the word and write a D underneath, and that D just means double vowel because there's the double vowel sound in the word. For the next one, you have chimney. In this case, we have two syllables. So we are not going to be marking a whole word. We're actually going to be marking it in two different syllables. Remember this chim, we hear I. That's a short vowel sound. So we're going to mark it as a short vowel and a closed syllable. The second syllable in this word has that EY. So we're going to circle that because it's our double vowel sound that we're working on and put a D underneath. In the word spray, we have an AY, and we're gonna be able to mark that as a double vowel. Notice AY is at the end, as we talked about before with the AY sound. In a word like sleet, I can circle the EE -E and mark that as a double vowel. 
And in the word beak, I can circle the EA and mark that as a double vowel sound. If you have not already, go ahead and make sure you've written these down so that you have them in your own notes. As a reminder, I want you to hear all of the long vowel sounds we've already learned that can be used in different ways. We've learned both the VCE long vowels as well as the open syllable long vowels. A, consonant E. A, safe A. E, consonant E. E, peat E. I, consonant E. I, pine I. O, consonant E. O, cone O. U, consonant E. U, mule U. U, rule U. A, acorn A. E, me E. E, I, hi, I. O, no, O. U, pupil, U. U, flu, U. Y, cry, I. Y, baby, E. It's important to remember that although we are learning these new vowel sounds that are long A and long E, that we already know some vowel sounds that make the long A and long E sound, and to be able to factor that in when we're making our decisions. As a reminder, like we talked about before, we have our A consonant E. A consonant E. A safe A. We also have our E consonant E. E, consonant E, E, peat, E. We have our open syllables, and remember, this is when a vowel falls at the end of a syllable and makes the long sound. For instance, A, acorn, A, and E, me, E. Now we're going to be working on our new sounds, and as a reminder, we have our sounds for A, long A, like A, acorn A, and A, safe A. We also now have A, Y, A, Y, play A, as well as A, I, A, I, bait A. And for E, we have our new sounds that make the long E. These are E, 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 jeep. E, E A, E A, eat E, and E Y, E Y, valley E. We're going to talk about the spelling of the long A and kind of practice filling that in. We're going to do that with a few words that I give you out loud. So I want to give you a reminder along the bottom of what those sounds could be. We could be working with A consonant E. We could also be working with our syllable words with an open syllable a we could be adding a i we could be adding a y sometimes we might have to fill something into practice sometimes you might know based on just your knowledge of the word first let's think of a word like case in the word case we have the a sound right here I'm going to go ahead and tell you that in this word, we are going to have an E at the end, which lets us know that we're going to focus on that A consonant E sound. In a word like baby, we have the A sound at the end of a syllable. So we have baby. In this case, we're just going to be adding the open syllable A. The next word is chain. And so let's look at chain and the word stray. In the word chain, the A sound falls within the word. 
And in this case, it's within the word and it's not an open syllable because we only have a one syllable word, chain, and it ends in an N. So it's not the open syllable. And in this case, we're not going to have an E at the end of our word. So because it doesn't fall at the end of the word as an A, and it's not an open syllable, we're going to be adding in A, I. In the next word, stray, we do not have an E added onto the end, nor do we have a consonant after our A sound. It's not going to be an open syllable because, again, it's only a one-syllable word, and in this case, it's not going to follow an open syllable pattern. We're actually going to be adding an A, Y to the end. Our last word we're going to look at is the word flake. In this case, with having a consonant after our A sound and knowing that it's one that's going to have an E at the end, I'm going to make this a VCE pattern word. To mark these, I would mark this as being a VCE word with a long vowel. This one would be open syllables with a long A and a long Y that sounds like E. For this one, I would mark the double vowel sound. This one, I would mark the double vowel sound. This one, again, would be the VCE sound with the silent E and the long A. Let's go over some spelling with the long E sound. I'm going to write down our options. And what I'd like you to do is, as I give you these words with the blanks, I want you to decide what you think is going to be best in that place. If you need to, use your paper to write down a few of the options and see what you think looks the best. Remember, our options are E, consonant E. We have the open vowel E. We now also have EA, EE, and EY. Our words we're going to practice with are donkey. Weep, chimney, team, and redeem. Take a moment to look at these words and decide what you think would go best in these places. For donkey, I am going to write an E-Y. It falls at the end of the word. For the word weep, it's inside of the word. And when I practice a few different ones, I'm going to find that E-E -E is what looks best. The word chimney, again, is at the end of a word, and it's going to have the E-Y. Team, if I practice with both E-E -E and E-A inside the word, I'm going to find that E-A looks the best. And in the word redeem, if I try E-E -E and E-A in the word, I'm going to find that E-E -E looks the best in the word redeem. When I mark these words, each of them that I gave you has the double vowel sound. So I'm going to circle those double vowels, and I'm going to mark it with a D underneath to represent the double vowel sound. Notice I did not mark chim or re because those are a separate syllable or um, dawn. For this one, it's a closed syllable, closed syllable. And the last one is an open syllable with the long e for redeem. We're going to take some time to talk about our two demonstration words for this week. The first one is obtain. For this one, I can mark it by breaking apart the syllables, ob, tain. Ob is a closed syllable, so I can mark it as such. After that, I can look at the second syllable, tain. And in there, I see my double vowel sound that I can circle, and I write a D below for double vowel. Our next word is indeed. Again, I can mark that it's a two-syllable word, indeed. I again have a closed syllable at the beginning that I can mark, followed by a syllable with an E, E that makes the long E sound. So in the first word, I have the long A sound. In the second word, I have the long E sound that makes the double vowel.
When we look at the meanings of these words, you'll notice that obtain means to get something. The sentence would be, by standing in line, the girls hope to obtain tickets to the game. Try this week to use obtain in a sentence you use with your family. The next word is indeed. Indeed means that it's used to agree or emphasize something. The other class was boring indeed. Take some time this week to practice with that word indeed with your family. Remember, high frequency words are important because they often have sounds in them that are not the way we usually see the sound. So they are ones we have to memorize how to spell them. I'm gonna give them to you and what I'd like you to do is come up with a sentence that would work for the words you're seeing and think about how it's different than the pattern we've looked at. The first word is great. Go ahead and come up with a sentence for the word great. What's important to notice about this word great is that usually E-A makes a long E sound. But in this word, when we say great, we are saying the long A sound. So it's a little bit of a different sound than what we're used to hearing from this word. Our next word is right. In this case, we have a one syllable word that the I falls inside with a consonant following it. And in this word, the I is long. It says its name, which makes it a little bit different from words we're familiar with. I want you to come up with a sentence to go with the word right. To help make this clear, I want you to know that this right, R-I-G-H-T, means I got the answer right or correct, or I'm headed in the right direction instead of the left direction. The next word is high. Again, the I is long followed by a GH, which makes it different from our typical open syllable long vowel sounds. I want you to come up with a sentence that goes well with the word high. Our last word is please. Go ahead and take a look at that, please. You notice I've already used the word in a sentence. If you can come up with a sentence to use for the word please, that would be wonderful. Notice that although please has the EA, it also has this E at the end that we don't usually see with a word that has EA. As a lesson recap today, we identified and created words using the long A sound. We also identified and created words using the long A E sound. After that, we compared words to determine the correct spelling with long vowel sounds, and we introduced new demonstration words and new high frequency words. Lesson, we are going to identify the OI sound in words with vowel teams OI and OY. We're going to form plurals when a word ends in Y, and we are going to use and demonstrate the Y spelling rule in words. As we discussed previously, remember that vowel teams are vowels that are joined with another letter and they work together to make a sound. Sometimes both of the letters are vowels, but not always. On the following slides, we're going to be introduced to the new sounds and a word that follows the pattern. I want you to practice by saying the letter word sound after me that I say. Our first sound is O-I. O-I, coin, oi. In this word, coin, We are able to see that in the middle, we have that O.